I do want to acknowledge um, the number of principals in the room. I know when you've got policy makers, we're not used to doing this, but I'm going to revert back to my uh, classroom days. Could all the principals in the room, could you just wave your hand where you are? Great. And I think it's just important to know, so that means, you know, t uh, shake the hand of a principal before you leave the room and thank them for all the great work that they did do today. Share with us a bit about one, um, the perspective that, that you had as a district leader in terms of what was most helpful um, and what you saw as being most important in elevating the role of principals. And then based on where you sit now as commissioner um, of New York State, if you could talk to us a little bit about how you are prioritizing based on what we see in this report. Just think about the varied places that principals come from. Everybody doesn't understand instruction because some of them didn't come from a background of instruction. They may have been teachers, but maybe not in a, um, in a very high academic program, but they've been great teachers and they get put into principal's positions and yet um, they're supposed to walk in and observe a teacher and really not have the kind of background that very often is required for that um, be able to give feedback to teachers to help them to get better and really push the agenda for continuous improvement. So from the context of a superintendent working to affect what happens in every classroom every day, that principal we found in Hillsborough to be a really key player in that. So we backed up a little bit, put it on track a parallel to have teacher work really connected to the principal's work. So fast forward, I'm now in New York. And, and let me say that um, as Paul indicated, principals have not been on the page. Um, we're in a position in the state of New York where um, the regents and the commissioner make recommendations on all the programs in colleges and universities. Um, we actually have to approve them. And um, as the ISLIC standards and then the revisions of the ISLIC standards are adopted, we can push that agenda. And so I'm um, luckily in a position to do that now and to say, in fact, how important it is for us to make sure that we, we connect the work we're doing with teachers and the work we're doing with principals.